Remote Access. When you want to use the Cloud Remote Access functionality, the settings need to be adapted. The cloud can be enabled in the project settings but if the devices are already added then it has to be enabled individually. The activation key of each device is unique and is needed to claim the device in the cloud. It is also important to adapt the IP settings as the default gateway and DNS server are mandatory. Navigate to Startup tab to connect to the cloud. Open the connection dialog and choose Cloud tab here. Click on Connect. Follow the authentication and authorization process with the email you are registered in the account manager. Additional authentication via the Ping ID mobile app for high-level secured content is required. As soon as the connection is established, you can see the devices available on the cloud with their live status. Select the device and connect. Please note that, you can connect to only one device at a time. When the device is connected, it is available in the discovered devices with the status and properties. Let's navigate to the engineering editor to do some tests remotely. You can also change the configuration and load it to the device remotely. Click on the play button. I will simulate the supply air temperature and you can view the change. You can check that the device is connected over cloud and there is no direct connection. It would be also interesting to see the asset manager and initiate the remote access from there. This is my site and inside it you can see the device claimed. You can verify the properties and edit some of them if required. Navigate to the Remote Access tab to access the embedded web server of the device. Log in with the device user credentials and continue with the operation and monitoring tasks. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.